Welcome back. Now, we like to have fun on this program, don't we? <laughs> and we have the lovely Cynthia with us. And also, Excel, we've, we've both stolen one of Cynthia's hats and glasses. I'm keeping it, by the way. I'm keeping her. I'm keeping mine. <laughs> My favourite one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Cynthia, you're going to be telling us about fashion today. Yes. <laughs> Tell um, us, too. Yeah, you guys must have been vibing um, <laughs> my vibe today because I wanted to talk um, about <laughs> a trend today. Uh, monochrome, basically. I wanted to uh, do something, Chrissy, for the viewers of all ages, mm -hmm. of all body types and shapes, of all ethnicities. And monochrome is just one of those trends that's been around since the beginning of time. And, and, we'll... and we really didn't plan this, did we? <laughs> no, we didn't. We really and that's didn't. what I think is cool about it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so basically, I was just going to go through uh, what I was wearing at first, and then okay. we can go through this you know, rail I've put gorgeous, together. Gorgeous, by the way, as oh, usual. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, all right, so basically, when you're um, using the monochrome trend, um, there is no rules. You can keep this as minimalistic as you'd like, mm -hmm. or you can go wild with it and maximize maximalistic. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. It is a right. word. I looked it up. <laughs> well done. Anyways, so today what I've done is I've just put this um, floral trouser that uh, is done by Inwear. It's a Danish brand that I actually found in a little boutique in Saskatoon when I was home. Aww. And um, I've, you can see I've paired it with a lace top. So jumper. Top. So yeah. I've mixed actually um, fabrics as well and I like playing around with textures and things like that and then I put um, textured white shoes and you can even see I just thought my toes are even monochrome oh. shoes <laughs> as well. Oh, so, that's lovely. Yeah, and if you wanted to um, even go further with this, you could take something like, um, I just found this fabulous jacket oh, in um, in Germany when I was there, and it's done by People Tree, and you can see that it's this classic Chanel French cut, mm -hmm. and uh, some people might think, you know, to mix these two would be clashing, but if you actually look at it and put it together, it it really works. Oh, it does, doesn't if it? If I can get it on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah, it's really cool that and look it, nice actually. Yeah, I would so never put that together to, to think to put it together. But you do yeah, see it a lot, absolutely. so you can yeah. you can go crazy with this if you want, and even layer more and more black and white. Yeah, no, it's okay. no rules. All right, so All right. I have to say I found this lovely picture in here. I think it's absolutely fabulous, quite glam. What do you can think? we get a castle? Oh, that's really nice, actually. I love oh, there it is. There we go. There. Wow. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I think the lady there has just, um, I think this is Lisa Fon... Fon... Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try, sorry. <laughs> yes, it's actually, she looks very, very regal. Very nice. Love it. That's nice. Yeah, flip through that book. There's many images in that uh, coffee table book that I saw today that yeah. uh, were just monochrome, so it really really inspired my segment today. So yeah, if we want that. to go through the, the rail? Though? Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, I wanted to show what kind of things you could do with this uh, classic cut jacket. Um, basically, I've put um, a black top, a versatile top underneath. This is something I found in Germany as well. And look for those extra little, you know, embellishments mm. and ties. Yeah. This one's quite strange. It has a hole in the collar on this side, but not on this side. Oh. So when you're wearing it, you can put that through, you can leave it loose. Oh, that's nice. You can make a bow, Yeah. play with that with the jacket, that type of thing. I uh, usually have been pairing this outfit with shorts mm -hmm. and wearing that with tights as well. Uh, but you can really play around with the feminine and masculine looks with that. Um, here's a lovely skirt of mine, Givenchy, and you can really just make it look really feminine yeah. as well. And that's all to match with the jacket? The, 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 yes, yeah, okay. yeah, these are all looks, as well as with the shoes, I mean you have endless opportunities with the shoes as well, okay. if you just take a look Let's here. Take. I like to put them with my, my army military type Ooh. boots that I got at All Saints, uh, very cool. You could also do um, like these Prada monochrome heels as well. You have to go for the Prada, don't you, Mother? <laughs> well, darling, I'm a lady of class, yes. <laughs> so you could go okay. for even a black and white shoe, or you could do um, just a sensible heel, or a not-so-sensible heel. I don't this is quite sensible, isn't it? I'd say so. Yeah, okay. So what else do we have on the rail, Cynthia? Okay. Um, also, too, uh, you will see, you know, total floral prints. Uh, this is another trend that is also with monochrome as well. And um, 
that we're seeing this season. Mm -hmm. And so this is just a little number from H&M actually seasons ago. So you can see what I mean that uh, monochrome is always yeah. repeating and they're very timeless pieces. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to invest or husbands and boyfriends out there. Um, <laughs> if you want to put a little more money into something in your wardrobe, do not be afraid to invest in monochrome mm -hmm. because it's something that you'll you'll see year in and year out. Okay. And just to prove my point, I was in uh, Saskatchewan uh, just recently and I came across this lovely oh, number. Wow. This is a proper 1970s vintage piece. You can wow. see here it's got, I don't know where I'm ever going to wear this though. <laughs> Maybe Glastonbury or something like that, but you can see it's like a short little mm -hmm. number and then it's got the little jacket there too. So again, black and white floral print. That's so cute. Yeah. That's really so. nice. That is. Um, this next piece actually is from up and coming designer John Tay. Ooh. He yeah. is, um, he's started making clothes since he was 13. He's 18 now. He was a student of mine and he's oh, actually yeah. made this dress and you can see that it's um, white at the front and it's That's black so at the clever. back. That's so nice that yeah. is. Inspired by Gareth Pughes, the designer and the embellishment by McQueen. So both, mm -hmm. both uh, designers who often use monochrome in their collections. Wow. So I think it's fabulous that he's no training. It's really clever, really. No training. Wow. He just looks and he copies. Wow. And, and sends he's got me the TV now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and yeah, lastly, copy. just to uh, close the segment, I just had uh, a couple staple items that you can have in your wardrobe uh, for monochrome. Uh, so the first one here is striped, the striped mm -hmm. jumper. So play around with, by the way, it doesn't have to just be black and white. You can have black and gray as well repeating, mm -hmm. but play around with the, the wider stripe or the thinner stripe. Yeah. Don't be afraid okay. to mix and match the patterns. Or would you say it matters if it was vertical or horizontal stripes or whatever? Well, I think that uh, the horizontal ones maybe make you look wider. So you might want to, you know, if you're wanting to look wider or taller, mm. I think you would go accordingly to that. Mm. Um, two staples that you must have in your wardrobe is the vest, or mm. as we say in Canada, the tank top in black and white. Okay. Yep. And um, for this season, I really am digging the gray jean. Okay. I think there's so much you can do with a gray jean. And of course, everyone needs a pair of black jeans in black their jeans, wardrobe. Definitely. So these are definitely like timeless pieces. And uh, for outerwear, again, I spoke about this on my last segment, but the yeah, trench coat. You love those. <laughs> <laughs> black and in white. You could add it to any outfit. And very, lovely. very, very versatile, all season kind I of thing. I love them. Now, we've got 30 seconds before we go. What, what about the hats? We have to talk about the hats. I we? love putting outfits, uh, hats with any outfit. I think mm -hmm. that it really adds a different element. I mean, if you're feeling it and you're a hat person, go ahead. Um, so you couldn't That's do it today because of my hair. But let's all put our hats on again and our glasses. Okay. And salute the camera. Just say goodbye to the viewers. Which was my, these, these are the ones I was yes, wearing, weren't they? Yes, these are mine. There's right. a headscarf. I'm keeping them, by the way. Just and, so they, and they do match, don't they? They we do. do look good and they them. really right. bring a different <laughs> element to an outfit. So. All right, well, unfortunately, we've run out of time. Cynthia, thank you so, so much. Thank you, Excel, for your thank participation. You. It's been a great show today. I've really enjoyed it, which is my camera. And I've lost my camera. Is it this one? Oh. Okay, so I just want to say, oh, hello everybody. Right, so I just want to say goodbye to our viewers. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more information about anything you've seen here tonight, do visit the website, chrissybshow.tv. And if you'd like to email me personally, you can do so on chris at chrissybshow.tv. See you again next time. Bye-bye for now.